In this video, we're going to show you how to change out a hot water tank. Let's get into this. Hey, I'm Clayton, part of the Plumbing Gurus. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for tuning into our channel. We appreciate it very much. And uh, on this channel, we're, trying to, we're striving to save you money and keep you all informed on all the proper plumbing practices that we like to use. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is shut the gas off. Actually, we shut the gas off. Sometimes you need a crest wrench, sometimes it's just a, a gas cock. You can turn it with your fingers. Shut that off. Whenever your gas valve is off, it's away from the line. So if it's on, it's going to be parallel. It's going to be running with the line. That means it's on. So you want it not running with the line in this way. And then you're going to want to drain the tank. So the homeowner, before we get the phone call, we got a phone call today to come do the hot water tank. He, we told him what to do. He's drained, he's drained the tank already. So the biggest thing when you are draining the hot water tank, so what happened is they opened it but didn't release the air pressure so it wasn't drained. So what we usually like to do is either pop this relief valve but also go upstairs and open up the hot faucet so that it releases the air so this thing can properly drain. So now it's going to be a bit, it can take 20 to 30 minutes sometimes to drain, but uh, it allows us to, you know, we shut the gas off, we can strip that, we can start working on other things while this thing is draining, get it out, then get the new one in. Alright, so now that we got the gas off, we're draining the tank, we got the air bleeding through here so it drains properly. We can uh, cut the copper off the top of the cold inlet here. Sometimes you can keep the valve that's there, but this one is pooched. So we're going to eventually cut it up over here, replace the valve and put a whole new one in so you can shut the water off at the tank. All hot water tanks will need a cold feed, a shut off cold feed like the one that they have here. But this one is not holding. When they shut it off it doesn't hold so we're going to replace it and put a new one in. Now that we got those cut off, we can take the tops off. Actually, yeah, we'll pop these off. Keep the copper. So, we're going to pop the vent off now. Vents off. I'm going to slide it out of the way. Remove this gas line. Oh, this little bucket to sit on here. Turn the gas off. If you're not comfortable with doing any of this, I recommend hiring a plumber to do it. Undo the union. Oh, she's tight. In this case, we're probably going to have to strip this out of the way. Alright, so this one's pretty tough. we got Clayton going out to get a pipe wrench for us. It's not coming off here. So, if you want to actually remove this part, try to, if you can, reuse it. It's nice to reuse the union if you can. So, just unscrew this first. Not every situation is going to be like this, but uh, it's very common. This is a very common setup. Not, it's not usually coming across. It's usually actually come down on the left. You just have to disconnect and pull the tank out. So you're going to come across a lot of different situations. So now that we got all the gas stripped out, He's working on getting the FIPs and solder, everything soldered so we can slap those on. Tank's still dra draining. We'll pop off this uh, drop tube, reuse it. No sense in making a new one. Put that aside. Okay, so this tank's ready to come out, but we're gonna wait for it to drain. So let's uh, see what Clayton's up to over here. All right, well, we'll get set what up. You working on? I don't know, I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what I did is I know this piece of copper here is going to be long enough to attach. We have to offset the one and the one's pretty much going to go straight up into the valve. So what I'll do is I'll just take a piece of copper chunk like this long, clean both ends. I already have my fittings cleaned. 
Then I'm gonna flux them, solder them. If you're wondering how to do solder joints, check out the link here. The video on how to solder without leaks or solder for beginners, is what it's called. It's gonna be heavy to get out. Help drain it a bit here. All right, let's get this soldered. Just like that. And then to clean the little drip off the bottom, I just drag my solder on the underneath and just pull and it cleans all the excess solder and if you want you can just strip this solder off the off the use the used solder off the new solder just like that. And I'm gonna tape and dope the connections on this side and then we'll just leave this on this side over here. I mean there's Lots of other ways you can do this. I know this is not the only way. I just had a piece of copper this long. I knew it was going to work. So I know I'm just, we're pretty much going to get a measurement, cut it here, cut it here, throw it onto the tank, and then we'll make it work for our tie-ins where the tank is going to go. So you can see the one water that I put on here for the piece of copper. We just put it on. And then this side here, you can see we put it on. And then this runs up top. And this is where we'll be putting my valve. So I'll just cut this low, and then I'll be able to squeeze my valve in. And then on here, I have a little bit of play here, so I'll be able to squeeze that in. Gas line back on here. So with the gas, we got yellow tape and dope. You can use one or the other, but it's better to use both. Smear it on there and wipe it off later. If you like. Bring it in if the in just in case. Yeah. Just like that. So this guy here, um, it's got an allowance to here to here for the, the copper pipe to fit in. And then how I like to install my valves is that for an emergency purpose, you fall down to shut the valve up off, I mean, this is would be on. So if you're ever in an emergency, it's easy just to grab the valve and just drop down with the valve. So I'll line it up to where my copper ends here. Put a little mark here. here is we um, did a little soap test on the gas line um, and if the gas line is uh, leaking you'll be able to see it it will create like a little foam and you'll see bubbles kind of popping out of the joint here so but it's very important to uh, uh, make sure that you do test your gas lines and then another thing that we did as well is we filled the tank so what we did is we turned the water onto the tank and we opened up a faucet upstairs and we turned the faucet to the hot side so what that does is it allows all the air from the tank to be pushed out through the tap upstairs. So now that we've got water coming out of the hot side upstairs, we know that the tank is full of water. So now we can go ahead and light the tank. So now what you want to do to light the tank on the gas valve here, you'll have an off position, a pilot position and an on position. Um, now not all gas valves are going to look like this, but most of them are going to be very similar to this as well. 
And the other thing you want to make sure that you have is on this dial here, this is your temperature dial, you want to make sure that this here is set to the pilot lighting. Okay? And then what you do is you turn this to the pilot. Now in order to put allow gas to flow through the gas valve to where the pilot is going to be lit next to the thermocouple inside your um, chamber here, I guess you could call it. Uh, we'll just push down on this here and there's a little sight glass there. We'll be able to see the pilot the pilot's lighting right now. And you'll probably have to hold down on this for about you know 30 seconds or so roughly. Yep, so she's staying lit. So once I know that the pilot is lit, I'll just turn this to the on position. And I'll turn this to and you can hear the tank. One, perfect. And I'll usually set it to about A between A and B for the setting on this valve here. That's about it. And depending on the size of the tank, this is a 50 gallon. Uh, you know, allow for uh, a few hours for the water to heat up. Hey everyone, thanks a lot for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a couple things about how to install a hot water tank and how to do it properly. Uh, we'd like to give a shout out to thanks to all the subscribers we have right now. Thank you very much. It keeps us motivated to create more videos just like this one to keep you guys all informed on all the proper plumbing practices that we like to use. Stay tuned guys. We're going to be doing a blooper video here pretty soon. Um, hope you guys are enjoying all the videos and all the content that we're pushing out for you all. And uh, take care. Have a good one. You guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.